All right, we are back. No controller incident. Shit, man, I did it again. <laughs> I literally did this just, I think it was the last time we were playing PS2 games. I forgot to unplug my controller from the PS1 and plug it back into the PS2. Give me just a sec. There we go. We're plugged in now. You happy game? Anyways. <laughs> Let's try a power. Lord, I can't even talk. The words just won't come out. Let's get into some Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End, shall we? Uh, yeah, you're gonna try it when it comes out. You had to let us know if it's any good, man. I said I've I've heard a lot of good things. I'm pretty sure I played one of the Armored Core games growing up on on the GameCube or something, but I never got particularly far into it or anything like that. Just in time, it looks like. Also, what happened to Bo? Uh, Bo's been bred once or twice. <laughs> that's, that's all. Bo, Bo, <laughs> Bo's fine. We don't, we don't question Bo. We need to get you a checklist? What do you mean? Do we have to, like, a checklist of things to do before stream or something like that? I mean, I totally could do that, but where's the fun in that, man? It's, <laughs> it's more fun if I'm surprised by what happens just as much as you guys. We don't talk about Bo. <laughs> we don't talk about Bo. No, no, no. We don't talk about Bo. Oh. <laughs> like, we don't talk about Bruno. You know, you get it. You guys get it. And now he's bo to full. Ah, dude. <laughs> the puns, though. The work drama is real. Is it like high school all over again? Or worse, middle school? Oh, we're breeding again. Oh, no, there was a battle. Not a breed, a battle, and we lost. Uh, that was our first loss. So wait, Bo's HP probably fell. <laughs> you would sleep through your own Does that mean Bo needs food now? I'm confused. I don't know what happened that we, we lost. Like, nothing bad seemed to have happened. Escape, my favorite two-syllable word. You have a plan? Always. Just follow my lead, eh? I'm a little iffy about both the, the graphics, the texture work, and uh, the animation here. I'm not sure how I'm feeling right now. I'm not going to lie. And we're already in the game. Okay, that was quick. Uh, we got some rats running around. We swing our sword with square. Uh, X is like a quick attack or something. Triangle and circle. Okay, no, circle is a grab. Why does this look vaguely familiar? Have I played this game at some point and just forgotten? That must be block and shove. Same co- This is the same co-worker he yelled at for wearing a coat when she wasn't in drive through. She's 60. And the bastard's cutting hours with everyone who either gave him sass or did something he didn't like or whatever because he cut two people down to five hours. So the co-worker whose mom is in hospice by 10 hours and a few people from 20 to 10 to 12 shifts going down. I may have to find a new job. Holy shit, man. That sucks, bruh. Oh, no. <laughs> why did you make Bo cry? <laughs> fuck, why is it not sending? Oh, fuck, it didn't send the first one, did it? No, I don't think it did. <laughs> I was a little bit confused, not going to lie. Yeah, I think I think it missed the first one. So sad now, dude. Okay, so we can switch items with the D-pad. We have a chicken. How do we use the chicken? Uh, maybe it'll tell us. Hold on. Our regional manager caused our assistant manager to quit because he wanted her to fire one of our best prep guys, who's her uncle and godfather, and she refused to do it. So he said he would fire her if she didn't, and then she just quit instead, taking her cousin with her. Larry is still employed, too, so the regional manager didn't man up, it seems. So the whole thing just seems like a clusterfuck. One of your co-workers' mothers is in the hospice in a coma, and the hospice called to update her, and he said if you answer that phone call, you're fired. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. I... Some managers just shouldn't be management, honestly, man. Like, I, I, I totally understand a... You know, don't be on your phone while you're at work policy or whatever. Like, that that's usually pretty reasonable. But, big but here. Um, 
if you have a a person in hospice or a child uh just a child in general or something like that like you should be allowed to answer the phone whenever those calls come through you know as long as you're not like just standing there talking on your phone forever okay so we just gotta kick these guys asses now reread what it did send first Oh god, what are we doing now? Is this a battle or a love making? I can't tell the difference anymore. <laughs> and now both purplish, purple and blue. Did the level go up or down? I don't know what just happened. Okay, so regional manager is an ass. Uh local manager quit, essentially, because they didn't want to fire one of the best workers that they have. Um Regional manager came in, cut everyone's hours, and never ended up firing the person that they demanded be fired. Are you crazy essentially, to think you can battle me? I think I think that's everything. I don't think I missed anything. Oh, and also, again, total ass has a problem even with people answering their phone for for potentially my mother has died reasons like, <laughs> which seems like pretty important reasons to to answer your phone. Pretty much, yeah, he's fucking everything up. Yeah, it sounds like it, man. I don't blame you one bit if you want to try and get a new job. I would be looking for a new job. God bless you, random person that's locked up for some reason. Does this... I, I admit, I don't really remember what happens in the movies. Is this following <laughs> the movie? Storyline? Probably. I'm assuming it does. You have a dragon credit. How do you use it? Uh, So I don't know if you can use it on mobile. I don't know if you're on mobile or PC. But uh, on PC, if you just scroll down below the stream where the like about section is... um. You are on desktop, okay. So yeah, if you just scroll down to like the about section where the like streamers can put links and text and all that BS, um, there's a little window that you can interact with specifically for Bo. You can, apparently, I've been told by Nate, you can control a little bit more with the breeding. Like instead of it being completely random, you can make some selections Tinder style. Uh, you can feed Bo different foods there, all the stuff you would normally do. Um, some of these stupid guards think they're crack hands at Dwayne. Just remember to block and wait for a real good moment to strike. Okay. Uh, and yeah, I'm pretty sure from there you can use the dragon coins to redeem literally anything you can do with Bo. So you could redeem the, the breeding, the battling, feeding him any food or anything like that, whatever the hell you want to do. And it's cheaper to use a dragon coin than it is to to do any of those things on their own. How? Do we have like a parry button or anything? Kind of like Assassin's Creed style? Ooh. Oh, okay. I think we do. Yeah, we just have to time it. Like, we have to hit it just a moment before we get hit. Silence, what's up, my guy? Hydrate? You got it, man. Pause the game, everyone. Take a drink. You know what time it is. I have to go over here and get my drink. Kind of knocked it over whenever I was, uh... <laughs> whenever I was doing the, the thing. Used one credit worth 100 Brits to breed Bo the Dragon. Look at Bo. Bo's back to looking happy again. He's so derpy now. He's cute. He's got his snaggle tooth back, but he's got a smile. That's what matters, man. Oh, thank you for the reminder to drink, my guy. I appreciate you, Silence. Back to the game. Uh, Trying not to die. How many times do we have to hit this guy? Is that... Oh, I guess... It, <laughs> there's our answer. And we got a random, um, is that like one shot with our our sidearm? Holy shit, what's going on with Bo now? Tacos, hell yeah. We all like tacos, man. 
Noodle and I, Noodle, if you can hear, we need to make tacos soon, Someone man. Someone told me that all the loot a guard stole from us is stashed in a hidden room above the armory. Uh, seems a shame to be locked. My mouse like fucked that. up again. Hold on. If you know what I mean. I'm having a rough night, dude. <laughs> nothing's nothing's working properly. I need to unplug and plug my mouse in. I think. It's done this a couple times now. I don't know. Windows just hates me, I think. Oh, There we go. Now my mouse is back. I just wanted to turn up the game a little bit. The game audio seems a little bit low. So I just wanted to boost it, but my mouse was gone. It just disappeared. It wouldn't do anything. So what's our actual goal? What are we doing right now? Health, level 1. Total loot, grenades, notor no notoriety. Flintlock, that's what it's called. Overall rank, Wastrel. Collect crab pendants, defeat enemies, release prisoners, defeat old enemies, ole enemies, loot, hit combo, and level notoriety. Escape from the prison fortress. That's, that's all we're really trying to do. Okay, so nothing in particular right now. Where are we going, though? Down the ladder? I guess it has to be down the ladder. I don't see anywhere else to go. How do they even get, like, these prisoners here in and out of their cell? Is there a door there? I guess there is, huh? It's just kind of hard to see. It blends in with the rest of it. But where's, like, the switch? All the other ones have a switch on the ground somewhere to let, let prisoners in or out to open the doors or lock them. So how do those ones work? Are they just, are they lifers? They're never going to be let out, so they just, like, lock the door permanently? Got rid of the... The thing? To release them? I'm hoping this isn't, like... Is this the way out, or is this the way to collect the rest of the stuff for the sub-objectives? Because it seems like sometimes when stuff happens in this game, it's a it's a no return sort of deal. Okay, this is going pretty deep. Let's go back. Let's go the other way first. What is up here? Okay, this section's bigger than I expected to. Now I don't know which way to go. <laughs> That's why I like when games uh, give you very clear instructions on where to go and what to do. So I can completely disregard it and do whatever the hell I want instead. Because otherwise, I might accidentally go the right way. And where's the fun in that? Okay, well, this one has a cutscene pointing out there. So I'm thinking that's the right way to go. Oh, it's R1 to use items. Okay, I just accidentally used some of our food. What's the... Are these throwing knives? The dagger-looking things? Are they for ranged attacks? Guess if we find an enemy, I can try, like, throwing one at them or something. We've got some loot, some pirate treasure. Gimme, gimme. I wonder if we can end up using it for anything, like purchasing upgrades or something. Yeah, okay, and that was just... Just an area to collect some shit, that's fair enough. Yes, throwing knives, okay. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, didn't mean to send him off the cliff to his demise, but uh, that works too. Oh, I didn't mean to use the chicken. Why do we have the chicken highlighted? Where's my throwing knives? Can we not use the throwing knives against these guys? One batch down, one to go. I'm assuming you just mean one batch of the cookie butter, right? Or the, the brown butter? Or did you actually finish all of your... Like, the entire thing of cookie dough already? It seems like there's no downside to hitting the parry button at the wrong time. Like, it doesn't make you vulnerable or anything. I really hope this isn't what all of the boss fights turn out to be, though. Just, just holding block. 
and parrying constantly. That's one of my biggest problems with the Assassin's Creed series, at least in the earlier ones. I haven't played the newer ones. But a lot of them come down to just guarding constantly in combat and, and parrying, right? At least then, though, like, if you parry at the wrong time, you can still get the, the shit knocked out of you. So far in this game, it seems like if you're holding the guard button, you're basically invincible. You're browning the butter for both kinds first because it has to be resolidified. Okay. I mean, I didn't think you were making the dough just yet, but you never know. I just want to be sure. Wait a second. What happened to all our treasure we collected a second ago? Why are we... Why are we starting over? Or is this not a running total? I thought it was a running total. Maybe it's just like a collected in the last 10 seconds total or something. Maybe. Was that number that popped up right at the end our total when it turned yellow? You're about to encounter a, encounter a jackanism? A jackanism is an enhanced action sequence where you have to help Jack defeat his enemies. So it's a quick time event, is what you're saying. At key points throughout the jackanism... Why that... No, they're not jackanisms, man. It's just a quick time event. Who the hell t coined the term jackanism? You will see an action prompt in the bottom left of the screen. You must perform this action to continue the jackanism. You only have one chance to complete the jackanism, but if you do, then you will collect a notoriety bonus and a special reward. Press the button that is displayed. Excuse me. Displayed. Circle. Didn't do anything. Repeatedly press the button that is displayed until all three lights are lit. Move the F analog stick in the direction shown. Rotate the stick until all three lights are lit. Okay. It's literally just a quick time event. See, my problem with the way they're doing the quick time event is since you need to, like, keep your eye on the bottom left of the screen to see what buttons are popping up and, and, and whether you need to mash it or just press it once or whatever the case may be. Fuck! <laughs> Wait, that was the last one, too? Son of a bitch. Anyways, like, uh, you can't really see the action that's actually going on. And isn't... Hey, thank you so much for the follow. Lol, tapping, tapping. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, but yeah, like, isn't the whole point of quick time events so that you get to see cooler action that they couldn't really program into the game normally? So by, like, constantly keeping your eye on the, the bottom left of the screen there, I didn't really get to see the action that was going on. Which feels like it kind of defeated the entire purpose. I'm still really mad that we screwed it up, though, especially right there at the end, or, or what I assume to have been the end. The little pop-up showed 7 being the last one on the list, so... Okay, so that lowered something down a little bit. Do we just have to, like, do all three to lower it down all the way? Okay, that lowered one side down more. And now the other. Oh, and there's our platform. Wow, man, we're puzzling so good. Hello, sir. Be careful, mate. The warden has quite a lot of nasty instruments lying about. Go on, give him a try. Oh yeah, someone told me he's carrying the key to Davy Jones' locker. Whatever that is. Ooh, okay. We got to lead. Me, that seems cool. Uh, I mean, I realize this is a movie tie-in game, so they probably expect people to have, you know, seen the movies. But as someone that hasn't seen all of them, I have seen a couple, but hasn't seen all of them and hasn't seen any of them in quite a while, it would have been really nice to get a little bit of a uh, refresher oh, or catch-up or something for... Hey, this is what's happened so far. This is this is why we're here and what we're doing. Because right now I have no clue what the hell's going on, man. Can we use, like, the environment to our advantage here? 
Presumably, yes. Uh, why did that not trigger? Oh, <laughs> wait, did that actually hit him? It did. I did. <laughs> that did not look like it was gonna hit him. But that worked. Uh, eat, eat, a, eat an entire chicken real quick. Refill a little bit of health. I like it. I'm on the thing. I'm pressing triangle. It doesn't want to spin or interact. What's the point of having like an entire boss and then just a little lowly minion at the bottom? <laughs> like, dude, if that if that boss type dude didn't do the trick, I don't think your lowly minion ass is gonna do much of anything for us. Got some flint. Sword on the stone will work just as well. We busting out of here, boys. Still haven't really found a use for like our bombs and things. I wonder, can we switch to the bombs now? Oh, it's actually like a throne thing. Okay, so it's another type of throne weapon. Can we only carry three at any one time of anything? And it seems like, yeah, I'm guessing so because this one we can't pick up now. Um, as we were blocking, I can't help but notice the little black pearl looking things were slowly depleting up in the corner. So I wonder if that's some kind of stamina gauge or something maybe? Here's what you've got to do now, Savvy. You have to find the elusive gypsy Tia Dalma. She's in Port Royal somewhere. She can help you rally the pirate brethren, Jack, and that's the only thing that might save our skins. Normally I would oblige. However, regrettably and lamentably, there's not a sail in sight. <laughs> there you go, man. Ride all the way to Port Royal in a coffin. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, good. We, we, get, we, get, <laughs> we got a dead guy's arm to help us row. I need to go back and watch the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. It's been too long. I do remember the, uh, what do you call them? A gypsy? On the Black Pearl. For all time's sake. I do remember her. Davy Jones is on his way. He demands his due. Get yourself off these waters, Jack. You're a soul for the pearl, Jack. It was a deal you made. What you owe him. So run, Jack. Run, get to land. Top side! Everyone, make sail! Okay, I guess that's the end of the first mission then. We were watching them, but we never finished them yet. I... I don't think we ever bought all of them, but uh, I guess they're probably on Disney Plus though, aren't they? So we could always watch them there. Level rewards, Captain Jack Sparrow unlocked, challenge mode location unlocked. Wait, <laughs> we unlocked Captain Jack Sparrow for what? Like a multiplayer mode or something? We were watching them on Disney, yeah. That's kind of what I figured. I wouldn't mind collecting all of them, like getting all of the movies though. I know we have one or two of them. I just don't remember which one's off the top of my head. Save successful. Dope. Oh, I... By the way, guys. Remember how I mentioned not too long ago that I bought a game from a local game store. Went to put it on my, like, master list of all PlayStation 2 games and discovered it wasn't on there. I realized that I was going about it all wrong. There is a organization, Redump.org, or website, Redump.org, that has information like uh for for basically every disc based game retro game out there um for preservation purposes they don't allow you to download anything from their website as in terms of like roms or isos or whatever you want to call them but they do have you know a database of all of the games that are known for a console for basically every region possibly literally every region as well as some some preservation info, so you can check your your own dumps of them uh, to make sure that they're that they're good, that they're not you know corrupt in any way or whatever. Um, 
So what I did for the PlayStation 1 is I actually went through their database of American games and uh, put it all into a spreadsheet of my own and then went through every single game with the help of, of some regex stuff on uh, Google Sheets to to get just like the unique games because I don't particularly care about greatest hits and, and demos and prototypes and all that BS. Uh, and soon I plan on doing the same thing for the PS2 as well to make sure that my, my list that I have publicly available for you guys to vote on and, and that I'm actually using the track that I have everything is accurate that it's not missing anything else that there's not too many duplicates on it or whatever so here soon I'm going to be doing an over an overhaul uh, of that list that that you guys have seen too many times before basically every stream this looks like a bridge but uh, we can't get to it so I guess we have to go this way I vaguely remember this part, too. Um, like, I remember... I think maybe I saw a piece of it at work or something. I remember being on the... Hey, thank you, Destac... Destactictai. <laughs> oh, never mind. Uh, I, I take it back. Not thank you. <laughs> Oh, trash. Thanks to my stars, I am saved. Now rescue the others. Uh, what was I saying? I've lost my train of thought. Oh, I, I don't remember where I saw it at. Maybe at work? Like it was on the TV while I was in the lunchroom or something like that. But I do remember this section. I remember, uh, what's his name? Orlando Bloom here. <laughs> Being on the island and Jack, is he like getting cooked or sacrificed or something like that? And then gets gets freed I, I don't know look <laughs> I wasn't paying that much attention I was eating my food um, or talking or whatever people do in lunch rooms so that's what happened this is the fast paced version of the movie you don't remember a single bit of it yeah that's my problem man I just don't remember like I'm pretty sure I did see this one at one point from beginning to end um, either that or I just happened to have seen clips of it multiple times over the years which I suppose is perfectly possible. Oh, okay. That's actually the way we're going. I just saw a jug over here and was like, hey, I'm going to break the jug. I did not realize this was the path that we're not supposed to go down. There's just another person over here. I guess that explains why it was a bit hidden. I never quite understood why movie games have to condense the storyline down so much. Because, I mean, your average movie is, what, an hour and a half, two hours long? Roughly, right around there. Your average game is, what, eight hours long? Like, it seems like you would have more than enough time to tell the full story of the movie. Um, while still having it be fun and interactable for, for people. I can climb back up if I want to. I don't want to, but it's good to know. Uh, which way do we go? I'm assuming that's the right way to go. Wait a second. I do want the treasure at least first. And I guess I'll free this random guy here. Get some rest, and maybe you can try again. I can't believe it. I'm saved. Now quickly, see to the rest. Why don't you see to the rest, man? You're free now. You can help out. Doesn't all have to be done by Orlando Bloom. What was his name? Does anyone remember? His name from the, the movies? I remember, like, that he... I mean, spoilers for the movies or whatever. But I remember that he's secretly a pirate. Uh, or a pirate lineage. But I don't remember his name or anything. Uh, shoot. I think we missed a person up there we could have freed. Is it still possible to go back over there? Uh, probably not that way. Okay, 
he he's already out, my guy. Hey, thank you so much, Root. Wait a second, with a tier two? Holy shit, dude! Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. That's awesome. Seriously, thank you, Root. I really appreciate that, my guy. My prayers are answered, or my crazed mumblings. Either way, see to the other crew fast. Um, is there? Oh. Use blocking. We'll get back to that. Uh, Rue, is there a game that you would like to put some votes on, man? I believe you're the first tier two, so we never really discussed it. But I guess uh, tier twos can have 15 votes on any game they want. Because we do five for a normal tier. Ten for a tier two just doesn't seem like enough. So <laughs> we'll triple it instead. Fifteen. Any game that you want to vote on, uh, whether we own it, don't own it, whatever. Just let me know, man, and we will get it added to the list. Or if you don't want to vote, that's fine too. <laughs> Whatever you want to do, dude. Just thank you, man. I appreciate you. Seriously, I have the best little group of supporters in the world, man. Friends at that. I demanded to go to God of War. 100%, man. Not a problem. And uh, I'm assuming you mean God of War 20... 2000 and... Whatever. God of War PS2, right? <laughs> God, we're sucking so bad. Are we are we even damaging this dude? Yeah, yeah, okay. I thought so, because that's the one that you've been doing the votes on. I mean... Okay, Jack did say something about, like... Do we have to go up here? No, we can't go up here. Something about the pot and Jack and whatnot, but I don't remember... I don't remember what it was exactly that we were supposed to be doing. He's holding something. Do we have to, like, grab him? It doesn't seem like I can. Did we do any damage? We parried. Was that not a good parry? Look like a good parry. Ow. Okay, we did get hit that time. So, never mind. Blocking is not just, like, automatically safe. Um, we're actually gonna end up dying. Uh, take a bomb. <laughs> I mean, we scared him. Do we have any food left? No. Shoot him with the pistol. Uh, we're out of pistol fire. I don't know what to do, man. The cookies better be there. Okay, well, like somehow we got him in the pot. That's <laughs> I, I don't really know how it happened, but it happened. Uh, there still seems like a decent chance we're going to end up dying. Oh, thank God. Plus two turkeys, chickens, whatever the hell they are. Eat them quickly. Ow. And another one. Let's go. Oh, wait a second. Is it the same dude again? Okay. I still don't know exactly how... We did it last time. We just, we somehow got him to go in the pot. That's all I know. I just don't know how we got him to go in the pot. There's got to be like some sort of trick to it. Oh, okay. We got to, like, bait him into attacking us, standing in front of the pot. the pot, And then, uh, and then dodge. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. That makes sense. I thought we were going to have to, like, grab him or something, but no. I guess that would be too, too basic for Mr. Bill Turner or whatever the hell his name was. I can't even go and get the chicken that's over there. That's lame. Wait a second, is this... Is this a woman? That voice clip sounded awfully, uh, feminine. Hey, look at us go. Quick, over this bridge. Oh. I didn't realize we were doing a jackanism. 
<laughs> oh shit! Ah! <laughs> Wait a second, is it actually making us redo that one? With the last one, it told us that once it once you fail it, it's it's failed. You never get to try it again. One shot and you're done. I guess they decided not to do it that way. I don't. Okay. Or maybe that wasn't a true draconism. It was just a. A section of the game. One might call it a quick time event. Oh, I didn't even have my favorite scene where he's like running clear across the island, Jack is. That was the, the part that I really remembered from the island escape thing, scene of the movie. Does that happen after the raft section? Maybe there's still a chance. Maybe we'll still get to see Jack be... I was going to say be a madman, but what is he normally if not a madman? Oh. Uh, just eat food. I, I wanted to try and use some of the, the sub weapons, but honestly, I kind of feel like it's pointless. I think I just lost a boot. Might as well just beat them with the sword. I still don't really know the difference between X and Square. X is probably a fast attack. Square is probably a power attack. I should be doing more X attacks, I think. More X, less Square. Oh, are we just getting the thing unstuck? Mad Captain, good sir. Oh, the piranhas are fine. Just ignore them. What have piranhas ever done to you anyways? But you are stuck down there, Jack, so shut it. Oh, God damn it! Are we going to get stuck again? No, okay. Guest. Pretty sure at this point, any guest is an uninvited guest, man. Butter all done and you didn't burn it? Nice, man. Is it a nice deep caramel color? Well browned without burning? You want to be hacking at those branches, mate. Hacking at the branches, okay. It's a little hard to do when, you know, I'm being attacked. But we'll do There's our best. Can I can I murder them and hack at the branches at the same time? Uh, maybe nice. Wasn't such a good idea after you were literally the one that told me to do it, Jack. You could at least make an effort. This is embarrassing. What do you mean? I'm winning. Do I know the reason behind Jack becoming a pirate? Is it something super tragic, like uh, the reason Kratos became a mass murderer? But no, off the top of my head, I don't. TBH. Port Royal, post haste. The shortest time in the open sea, the better, eh? Aye, aye, Jack. Port Royal. I will. We have a pressing and unyielding need to find Teodoma. Rally the pirate lords. Not gonna lie, so far I'm not particularly impressed with the game. <laughs> like it's fine, I'm not upset with the game either, but so far it's just it's it's just okay. Fairly average, I guess. Like you know, it's fine but not offensive. I really hope I'm not starting to get sick again. My mouth's just been really dry lately. My nose has been a little bit more stuffed up than usual today. 
and I'm just overly tired. It's also the like end half of my my work week though, so and that probably has something to do with it. Mondays I usually just end up like sleeping all damn day and well today's the day before Monday, so <laughs> it's usually my most tired day of the week. Hopefully that's all it is though. The weather keeps going from raining to snowing. That probably doesn't help either. That's, that's true, man. The weather has sucked lately. The cargo he sold that caused Royals him to be brand upon those people he freed slaves. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Just I did actually know that. My desperate search for the voodoo queen what I didn't remember off the top of my head is that he wasn't considered a pirate before that, though. Um, but yes. Now that you jog my memory, I do remember hearing that. I don't remember which film that was, but I do remember that. Enemies unaware of your presence are much easier to do stuff to use a stealth action. So what, do we just have to like walk quietly? Like slowly, I guess, quietly, same thing. <laughs> you just put a barrel on his head. That's fine. <laughs> they kicked him in the nuts. Jack, my guy. Not nice, man. Do any of these guys even care hey, about us? You recognize me? Well, I was nothing but a scurvy prisoner at that horrible prison fortress. Yeah, you rescued me. So now, take this for your trouble, eh? Hey, you're welcome, ma'am. We're all too happy to help. 200 gold doubloons just for letting you out of prison? My guy. That reminds me of... Something. I was watching the other night. I don't remember what the hell it was. But, uh... Some kid... Was it South Park? It was South Park! That's what it was, man. <laughs> Pip. Pip free... Uh, didn't free, but like, didn't rat out this... This... Uh, escaped convict... And, uh, like, basically was kind to him, so the escaped convict ended up becoming rich when he, he made his way to a new land and, uh, sent Pip off for gentleman training. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why, but that's what came to my head for that moment. A lot of it revealed in the one with Davy Jones, because, yeah, that's the reason why he owed a hundred souls, one for each of the, uh, slaves that he freed, right? Yes, 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 yes. It's all, it's vaguely coming back, but like I said, it's been a long time since I've watched the films. Complete this jackanism for the red coat. Gotta, gotta focus here. We haven't successfully done a single jackanism yet. I still want to know what all these costumes and things that we're unlocking are for. Hey, we did it that time. Legendary pirate. Look at us go, man. Uh, now we can just go back? Like, we, we had to sneak our way through here so carefully, and now just no one cares. Yeah, literally, no one cares at all. Uh, fun fact, I don't know for this game... But do you know how they usually do these sort of reflection effects in, in retro video games and sometimes still in video games these days? I'll give everyone a moment to answer in case they they know or think they might have an idea of it. It's really smart the way that they do it. I'll say that much. Honestly, like, the limitations that hardware posed on video game development back in the day, and I guess to some degree to this day... Uh, really do breed innovation, you know? Limitation breeds innovation. Lord, my head is dead. <laughs> Dear sir, could you help me? My lazy husband is somewhere in town. Could you find him for me? Might have time to assist. Is there recompense? Recompense? Uh, sure. What kind of recompense? Re recompense. Hello, are you the woman's... Hey, Captain Jack Sparrow. 
Why not help us with a little raid to free some rum? We know you would run. Go way back. Well, how can I say no to that? So, you keep him busy, and we'll get the rum. Simple, eh? Right. I'll get to the gentleman and dazzle him with conversation. Savvy? And after we get all the rum, Jack, a little meet up in Tortuga to divide it all, eh? Sure. Is there just like, is this just side mission heaven? Is this some kind of like hub world for, for other missions? I'm just confused why all of a the sudden there's a bunch of side mission stuff going on. When that didn't seem to be a thing Captain up to now. Jack Sparrow. It is time. The pirate lords must be found and rallied. A conclave must be held in Shipwreck City, or piracy shall vanish from the seas forever. There is a key which opens a chest. There is a chest when opened holds the heart of David Jones, and he who holds the heart. Controls Davy Jones. I will keep that in the forefront of my thinking as I rally the pirate lords. But listen, Jack. One of the lords, he call himself Capitan Chaval, is here in Port Royal. Nothing to it then. Do to be hanged. Why can't these pirate lords learn to behave themselves? Release the prisoners from their cells, a fitting distraction for you. Set some gunpowder within the yard to cover your escape. Block the entrances to the yard to stop reinforcements. And weaken the supports to the stock's platform. If you do all this, then freeing the pirate lord will be easy. Got it. Except, go back. What was that first one again? There are more lords to be rallied. You will find some in Tortuga. But for now, be quick, Witter Jack. The yeah, I'm not going to remember all that. So anyways, <laughs> the reflection thing. Let me run back over there to give you guys a, a little bit of a visual aid. But essentially, what they do is they just have a copy of everything on the other side, but like inverted. Um, so whenever I walk in front of this here, there's a, another character model for Jack on the other side of this this semi-transparent uh, window glass texture here and it's just copying my exact movements but everything's like inverted so therefore it looks exactly like a reflection but actually this is just this isn't three character models you know me this girl and this guy there's actually just six character models all here right now just three of them right here and three of them in this like reverse world version of everything and that's why like for instance these boxes here and things aren't coming up in the reflection because for whatever reason whenever the game designers copied this this structure to be shown in the reverse world they forgot to put these these boxes in the, that barrel over there so the reflection isn't showing them because they physically don't exist on that side of the glass. Whereas myself and the other two character models do. Said so just speculation as far as that being how it works in this game. I can't say that's how it works in this one for sure. But that is how a lot of video games used to do it. And a, uh, a good chunk of them still do it to this day. Because it's, it's relatively cheap to do that compared to actual like screen space reflections um that's fairly computational heavy whereas just having a few extra character models on screen assuming you're not already at your budget for tries or whatever um isn't all that bad so why not make that that trade-off sure how do we play pirate dice my guy oh my god we actually have to load into it <laughs> Sometimes I forget how much retro games had to load into things. I've been spoiled by like modern PCs and game consoles where things load relatively quickly. The aim of the game is to guess how many dice of a chosen face value are under all of the player's cups. One's aces are wild and the count 
and count towards the current bid. Uh, sure. Select a charm. Okay, well, I don't have any charms I can use right now, I guess. So confirm. Everyone's betting 30. Um, make your next play. The aim of the game is to guess how many dice of a chosen face value are under all of the players' cups. Do we each have five die? Select a die value and an amount. Remember, one is wild. So really, we're just picking two, three, four, five, six. If you think the last person to bid has overestimated the number of dice to that value, equal if you think the last player's bid is exactly correct, cheat. Use a charm card to cheat. Okay. Uh, so bid... I think there are f four... Wait, do we each have five die? And we're choosing for all players' cups? So that's five, ten. There's 20 die, and there's five of any number. So I'm going to guess four fours. I don't have any fours, but I feel like that's still a relatively safe bet. Six fours? Seven fours. Um, so wait, it's the last person that guessed, right? I'm going to call liar on him. Hey, I won. <laughs> there ended up being six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I forgot ones were aces <laughs> or uh, ones were, were wild cards. That could have went poorly for me. But no, we actually... So wait, did I? does that mean I get the gold? Yes. I've made three gold so far. Okay. Oof. Oh, okay. So I got two fours, two sixes. They're going off of fives, though. I have one. Three, four. Five. I'll do six. Wait, so... Okay, I have one. Each player probably has... Five dies, at least one, maybe two. So one, two, three, four... Yeah, I'm just going to say six. I feel like six is a pretty, pretty calm bet. It's going for seven. Calling liar at seven. Okay. This isn't exactly the most uh, thrilling of games to watch. I feel like it'd be fun to play, though. Oh, there was only four. Oof. There was not that many. This is a weird game of like statistics and 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 lying, I guess. <laughs> like you need to have a bit of a poker face. But at the same time, like statistics play a big role in it. So I have 3 threes already. I'm going to guess 6. Cuz if I have 3, if each of them even only had one, you know what? I'm going to go for seven. <coughs> Con liar on me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I get wrecked, dude. <laughs> What is the point of the gold that we're slowly accruing from this, though? Do we actually get to use it for anything? Sixes, okay. Um, he bid two. I have one. I'm gonna bid five. Ooh, bidding six. Seven? Holy crap, okay. 
Well, okay, he called liar on him. Good. That means I don't have to. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow. Okay. There were a lot. Now, how how does the game end? Is it just a certain number of rounds? There's ten rounds. Current loot thirty six. Yeah, whatever. I'm <laughs> I'm packing out. I don't want to sit there playing that for God knows how long. I guess twice as long as we just played it for. Um, <laughs> Let's get back into the actual game, shall we? I would love to find that woman's husband just because I'm curious if she's just going to give us money or are we going to get some sort of cutscene or something for, for finding him? Okay, we're done with the liar's dice. Uh... Ooh, bag of loot. I will never understand why people hide their loot in random barrels of the world. I know you don't hide. Bit of bad news for you, mate. There's a plan afoot to relieve you of your rum supply, and I know that that disappoint. How that disappoint? I'm a student of ins and outs. Can you regale me with the story of this mostly fine establishment? Oh, this building has not much of history. Surely it cannot interest you. Ah, uh, but it does. Especially the sounds you must hear in the night, eh? Wait, you find my company lacking? Rum raiders. <laughs> well, <laughs> that went well. Wait a second, do we just get to try it again? Or... Oh, freaking redcoats. Come on, attack me. You're not even attacking the right direction, dude. Get fucked. Do we get to try again? Ah, oh, good, we do. Or no. No, I guess we don't. Son of a bitch. Whenever the dude had the exclamation mark above his head, I thought maybe we gotta try again. Unless we have to, like, talk to the guy to get that whole quest line started again. Like, it wouldn't have reset that, right? But, like, she has an exclamation mark above her head still, and we already kind of talked to her. I can't imagine... She has anything else to really say. Where's the dude that we're supposed to be finding? Oh, there's another street we can go down. Okay. Uh, excuse me, sir. Do you want to get fucked? You're welcome. Uh, I have no idea where we're going. The arrow's pointing this way, though, so it has to be good. Hello, good sir. Listen, mate, she wants you back. Don't know why, but you best honor such devotion. Submission complete. Uh, so do we have to go back to her now? I didn't seem to get any reward from that, so I'm assuming so. Kind of annoying that we had to run all the way back. Hello, lady. I found your husband. He's a piece of crap. Ah, tis a shame we got spotted. Sounds like a plan. So, you. Okay, yeah. So we do get to try the the rum theft again. We just had to talk to that dude. You're welcome, my lady. A hundred gold. Again, what do we actually use the gold for, though? What's the point of collecting it? Oh. Got a little turned around with the camera. I hate games with fixed cameras that have, like, weird issues with the controls like that. Whenever the camera changes, it doesn't... Like... So, if I... If, I, if I'm holding up right here... Right? As I go through this scene change, I'm still holding up, but I'm moving left. Like, that it just screws with me so hard because then I try to change the direction I'm holding or whatever, and then you end up walking back and forth through the scene change, and it's just, it just confuses me. That's all. A uh, bit of bad news. No, I'm a student of ins and outs, but it does, especially the sounds you must hear in the night. What happens in me 
stays there. And that goes for the rooms and bed sheets. Don't go. I may yet turn to be a potential tenant. Fascinating. I once considered running an inn just now, as a matter of fact. You, an innkeeper, with those beady eyes? You dreaming? Listen, I've... I've a tale of a night in an inn that's sure to fascinate me. Lean close. This should be sotto voce, as the Italians say. Didn't mean to offend. Come back and we'll give the bantering thing one more try. Wait. I bet you had some fine evenings within an old rented room. Aye, but before we get to that one question, you must dispense coins liberally to keep the authorities free from your doors, eh? Or hold on, mate. How do you know I won't have something of terrible interest to say? Uh, I... Shit! Oh, wait, no, that worked. Never mind. Not shit. Yay! <laughs> it's just weird how it just, like, teleported us back to the beginning. I'll see you in Tortuga for your share. Uh, thanks, guy. Damn it, it happened again. <laughs> uh, don't want to play the die. I want to get rid of the thing above his head, but... It's not worth sitting there for... 20 minutes. Uh, I don't know. This way, I guess. Hold on, hold on. Was that a medallion? That's weird. <laughs> the chest respawned. I guess because we didn't pick up the loot from it. Uh, weaken the supports. I remember that was something we were supposed to do. How did we go about that exactly? Stop red coats from raising the alarm. What about the blue coats? Can the blue coats raise the alarm or no? Do we not have to worry about them? Nice. I don't know how that guy didn't see me. Okay, set the gunpowder. I guess that's set now. Um, what else were we supposed to do here? Something about like blocking the entrances or something, right? Where do we... Where do we do that at? God bless you. I mean, I guess we can just let out the local criminals while we're at it. You're welcome, guy. Free the Chaos Bringers, yes. Was that one of our goals? I don't remember what all she told us our goals were to make this easier. Is it in our... Uh, submissions? One of posters, Sneaky Man. Pirate Dice, Loot Hit Combo. Okay, okay, so there's two more explosives to set and two entrances to block. So freeing the prisoners was one of the things to make this go more smoothly. I don't I don't actually know if it'll start until we do it. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> Pay no mind to the to the random man running around fucking up stuff. Oh wait, that's how we're blocking the entrances? <laughs> By literally just closing doors? Do they not have a switch to open it on the other side? Seems like bad design, honestly. Can I please do the thing? Okay, so that should be it for the doors. Where's the last thing of explosives? Ah, oh! Shark, always one for the last minute. I am most grateful for the rescue. Allow me to give you a means to express said gratitude. Take part in the conclave. Alas, I must return to my ship. Done. I shall see you at the conclave, Jacques Sparrow. So are we just running away now? I kind of expected a bunch of redcoats or something to show up. Oh, well, here's one. Oh. 
true labor of love. And square. Get wrecked. Block. Square. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is really what the combat's gonna be the entire game or time. Yeah, I would call this game, I guess, uninspired. I think is a good word for it. So what you're saying is I'm fairly arousing. It's fine. I've been a known, been a known. Huh, I'm tired. I've been known to arouse myself once or twice. Don't be ashamed. He dead. <laughs> I don't even think that was the guy I actually parried, but whatever, it worked. This really does remind me of Assassin's Creed, man, as far as the combat system goes. I'm still curious what's going to happen whenever those, those black pearl-looking things run out up the top there. If we just start taking hits, or... We did take damage there. Yeah, so maybe that's what happens. We just no longer, like, successfully block. It's much quicker to just mash the fucking attack button. <laughs> the animation for these angry red goats is ridiculous. Ow. I can just out tank him, so it really doesn't matter, man. Jack Sparrow! I'm a bit pressed for time, Governor. No, wait. It's Elizabeth. Lord Beckett has declared her a pirate for helping you. She has fled to Tortuga to find Will Turner. And Will Turner That's his name, Will Turner. Power, I'm sure. Promise, I'll be on the lookout for both of them. Looks like the lads might need a spell of time to prepare for sale. You have been warned. Now you will. Okay, it's just a survival section. So wait, if it's just a survival section, why don't I just hold L1 the entire time? How many of these movies were there again? A lot. <laughs> I don't remember exactly how many, but there were a fair few, that's for sure. Can I use, like, my bombs or something to... Oh, the gun worked. The flintlock. Wait, did it work or did I just get lucky? Uh... I think maybe we just got lucky. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I think I just happened to shoot the flintlock at the same time that the the ship cannon broke the boxes. Because I can't seem to interact with them at all in any way. There we go. Thank you, ship. Got plenty of time. Might as well break some boxes, right? Collect all the loot. In the so far, the only thing that's really mattered has been chickens, but you know. Hey, there could be chicken hidden inside one of these boxes. Oh shit, I missed three of them. Oh, I'm trash. Mr. Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. Appreciate you. Anchor up. Make sail. Lower the jib. All the customary activities. And where to, Jack? I hear tall sugar is present this time of year. Well. <laughs> Captain Chevelle unlocked. Challenge mode location unlocked. New combo awarded. X square circle. Um, would you like to save? Yes, of course. I think we're going to go ahead and go back to the main menu and see if there's anything we can use 
all this money and stuff that we got. Plus, it keeps mentioning that that challenge mode and us unlocking characters. So, I want to know a little bit what that's about. I just hope it's not like locked to two player or something like that. Cause, yeah, that I can't really test that. <laughs> Jack, uh, can't skip this. Davy Jones shit. That Rick, unlikely. Times may have turned tough for old Davy, but he won't be a runner foul of any shoals, and it's too small. The real Flying Dutchman is much bigger, in a frightening, slime-covered, monstrous sort of way. That's the Flying Dutchman. The comedy of the movie seems to be lost on the game, too. Davy Jones has a key which opens a chest that contains his heart. Capture the heart, and you can control Jones. But how will you stop them? Yeah, it really is. Exactly, man. Like... The movies are not only entertaining, but also I find quite humorous at times. But all the jokes that they're like pulling, I, I don't know what it is exactly, but they're just not sticking their landing. You forgot how ugly this bastard is? I mean, I guess it depends how much you love tentacle-covered dudes, you know? Like, <laughs> if you really like uh, dudes covered or with tentacle beards, then hey, you know? I'm not going to say that someone else's kinks are bad. Someone else's uh, likes are bad. I don't know. <laughs> you do you. That's all I'm saying, I guess, man. I don't know. I don't even remember who most of these people are. Captain Barbosa sounds familiar. Lord Cutler Beckett? Angler? Is that just a r random... Oh, that's one of the... Is that one of the two idiots, maybe? Random Black Pearl members electric arm was electricity a thing yet generic pirate one two and three they <laughs> they really like <laughs> went all out with these uh characters huh skeletons and even random townsfolk there we go we're gonna play townsfolk three wait so is challenge mode just replaying through levels Combat challenge, reward captain, and you just unlock new characters. Uh, I mean, look, I guess more content better, but they also could have just spent the time they they took to put this together of, to make the game better, <laughs> you know? Maybe we're judging it too early, though. Wait until the game loads. Maybe, maybe it'll have some new interesting spin on it. Collect 200 loot, and we have a time limit. Does the fact that we picked a townsfolk to play as have any negative side effects at all? It seems like we have the same amount of health. We appear to be taking about the same amount of damage as always. Wait, that was it? That was the entire challenge? We just had to kill, like, five people and pick up their shit? <laughs> Excuse me? Okay, yeah. No, this game 100% was just a cash grab, man. <laughs> they did not put any time or care into it at all. There's no way. What do we get from the uh, treasure cove, at least? Is it just... I don't know. I feel like it's just going to be something stupid, like artwork from the game that we're playing right now or something character treasures main characters captain jack sparrow it's a 3d model viewer <sighs> of course it is is it gonna load yeah there it goes soldiers is this the same thing just 3d model viewer uh, yeah, yeah, that's all it is. That's literally all it is. Holy shit, dude. Um, okay, location treasures. Concept art and challenge modes, yeah. I mean, concept art's better than just like a screen grab of the game itself, I guess. <laughs> says lame. Looks like it's time for me, for me, we to buy a new printer. What? Uh, what? <laughs> I'm very confused, Nate. What do you mean? What, one, why? And two, 
Mewi? Is that just a is that just a uh, a typo there? Nate printer bad. Nate need new one. I'm guessing that's what's going on, but why? Like what? What's wrong with your printer? Switch your hand with the hand of an opposing player. How does that help? Show the hand of one opposing player. I can see how that really helps. Complete the hit combo submission. Oh wait. Oh, it doesn't tell us what they do. Just how to unlock them. Okay. So that just shows us what unlockables we have. Bonus treasures. This is... Oh, we can change our sword. That's kind of neat. I don't know why you have to go all the way back to the main menu to do this, but I do kind of like that. Select the bonus to view. So is this just a... Yeah, this is just a, a cutscene viewer, it looks like. And then achievements. Well, that's fucking lame, dude. I'm still very confused, Nate. I need to know... <laughs> I need to know why me we need new printer. It's out of ink, probably, and being goofy, and it's like three years old, and it sat for like two. So, like, is the printer itself broke, though, or do you just need new ink? Because... <laughs> I feel like you might just need new ink, dude. I mean, sitting for two years, I guess it could be pretty clogged up or something like that. Might be worth, uh... Might be worth buying a new one. But I'm pretty sure you're also the one that told me the other day you're one of those people that just buys a new printer every time their ink runs out. And it's like, man... <laughs> one, that's really bad in terms of e-waste. And two, you know the ink cartridges that they come with are not full. Like, you would get a lot more prints by just buying an ink cartridge. I wish the EcoTank printers weren't so expensive. I don't know uh, who all here has seen the EcoTank printers before. They're by Epson. The other brands might have some, too, like a similar version. But instead of ink cartridges, they you buy bottles of ink, and they just have internal tanks that you can refill with the bottles. Um, and thankfully, they actually sell the printer at a, at a price that they make money off of it. So the ink isn't ridiculously expensive. Instead of like $30 for, for a single black cartridge and then like $20 for each of the three colors or $40 for a combo of all three colors or whatever. Instead of something like that, they charge the, for a bottle of black ink, it's like 15. And then for the three color pack, I think it's like $30, something like that. But here's the kicker, that $15 bottle of ink, instead of a couple hundred pages, like you get with a cartridge, gives you i think it's four thousand no it's like seven thousand pages or it's something ridiculous it's a lot of pages and then the the color or no the the black is like four thousand five hundred and then the color is rated for like seven thousand pictures or something like that worth of prints which is actually pretty decent for the price you know it's like it'd be the equivalent of buying like 10 ink cartridges um but normally you're paying like half the price or the same to half, depending on what kind of ink cartridges you need. Point is, it's a really good deal. It just sucks that the printers themselves are, you know, two to three hundred dollars, depending which which one you get. But they come with the first set of ink, so honestly, if you're the type of person that actually prints a fair amount, that would probably pay for itself right there. Because not having to buy nine more things of ink or ten more things of ink, like I said, if you're paying, we'll say fifty dollars for all of the ink cartridges. That's saving you $500 right there, just with the ink it comes with. Like, it's pretty dope. It seems like it's actually broke. It's airing out repeatedly, and you would buy new ink if it wasn't for the fact that every time I go to use whatever one I have, it's broken. I, <laughs> maybe you should just not own a printer and just use the one at the library or something. It's less convenient, I suppose. But, like, if you print that rarely, or here's an idea for you, Nate. Like, legitimately, here's an idea for you. Um, maybe look into getting an office style printer, a laser printer. Because Noodle and I, we only print like maybe three times a year or something like that. Uh, the benefit of a laser printer, since it uses the like plasticized powder instead of a, a liquid ink, our printer sits for year, for months at a time rather, not years, but for like anywhere from a few months to a year at a time without being used. And as soon as I hit that print button, it does a preheating cycle, and then it just pops out the page every single time. And so far, I haven't bought a single new toner cartridge since I bought this thing four or five years ago. 
I just bought the printer, set it up, never had to buy new new toner cartridges for it, and it works every single time that I go to use it. Like, So if you're not printing that often, maybe look at getting a laser printer, man. That way you're not buying a new printer every two or three years. Better for the environment, and at the end of the day, it'll probably be better for your wallet. Of course, that's assuming you can afford to buy a laser printer. They're not super expensive, but I think they do start around $100-ish, something like that. So not quite as cheap as what you can get regular inkjet printers for, because you can get cheap one of those for, what, $35 to $50? Nice, yeah. Yeah, it really is. The only downside is the cheap laser printers are black and white only. That's fine for Noodle and I, because the only time we're ever printing stuff, it's like a ticket for something or a coupon or uh, tax documents or whatever, you know, little things like that. So black and white's perfectly fine. But if you do need to print in color, they're not as nice for that. You have to get a higher end model, one that supports the color. I don't know if they would hold up quite as well as the, the monotone ones. And they definitely don't do as clean of prints as the uh, inkjet printers do. But anyways, guys, if you couldn't tell by the way I'm just talking about random BS now, I'm tired of this game, so I think we're done for the night. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I want to play any more Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. I do appreciate you all coming and hanging out with me for a little bit, though. Uh, same, this game sucked. Yep, yes it did. Yes it did. We should get ink for our colored ones so you can do cubic drafts again. See, instead of buying ink, though, I, I do just want to buy one of those Eco Tank, uh, Epson Eco Tank ones, Noodle. Because it, it's just so much cheaper, love. So much cheaper in the long run. Especially if you're going to be using it for stuff like that or if we wanted to print out pictures or anything. You're going to end up getting an Epson one? I do think it's a good idea. The only thing is I don't know how well it would hold up to sitting around for years. That part I don't know. But in every other way, it's like it's better than a regular ink cartridge printer. But all right, guys. Uh, what is today? It is... Today is... is what is Sunday. Today's Sunday, so I'm off tomorrow. I won't be doing anything live, at least. I'll probably be working on things behind the scenes. Uh, John and I have been working on that little game that we're, we're spending a maximum of six hours apiece on. Mostly John's been working on it. I've just been providing some small feedback. Uh, hopefully tomorrow I'm going to be working a little bit on the code. The goal is to have it out by the end of the month because I want to do one of these little things like every month to two months max. One month is the goal, but two months is like, okay, we need to just spend the six hours and get it done sort of thing. So look forward to a really shitty game sometime in the next week or two. And on Tuesday, we'll be back with probably more Crisis Core. Um, John's still taking a little bit of a break from the podcast, which is A-OK. -okay, um, and I'm itching to play more Crisis Core. So that's probably what we're going to end up doing Tesday. Until then, though, guys, thank you so much for coming and hanging out. Oh, God, I can't even say my own intro. I'm flubbering <laughs> over my own words. I can't talk anymore. Have a good night, guys. <laughs> I appreciate you all. Be kind to each other. Bye bye. <laughs> ah. <laughs>